Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial just showing you how you can cut and paste um, track changes into a, into a separate document but still retain the track changes. Because Word, if you try to copy it just using the Control C and the Control V method, just cut and paste, it will just paste it all as if the text has been accepted and you won't see any of the deletions and the insertions. So if you want to be able to retain the track changes formatting, then you need to, um, to cut and paste it to something that's called a spike. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so first of all, you just need to make sure that track changes is turned off in the original document. So you can either change it here, you can just click there, and if you go to the bottom bit there, you'll see that it's off. We can also um, switch it on and off here as well. If you don't see track changes at the bottom of your screen there, if you right mouse click on just the grey area there, you can go up and then you can put track changes on. So just make sure that it's got a tick by it and then it will show on the bottom menu here. Okay, so we're making sure that track changes is off. We're going to uh, do Control A to select the whole document. Okay, and then we're going to do Control F3 to copy the text onto the spike. So Control F3. What that will do, it actually doesn't copy, it will cut it out. If you don't want it to cut it out, just do Control Z and that will undo it. But the information will still be on the spike, so don't worry about that. So we're going to open a new document, so Control N or File New. And then we're going to paste, paste the information from the spike into this document. Make sure that again that the track changes is off. And then you're going to press Control Shift and F3. And that's going to paste it in. Um, it looks like it hasn't done anything. These these lines on the side um, just let you know that there are some track changes in there, but it doesn't automatically show the insertions and deletions. So what you need to do, go to review. At the moment, it's, it's sent to simple markup. I don't know why Word does that. I think it should just show it all. Um, but anyway, you can just click on the down arrow here and do all markup, and then you'll see that it's pasted it in with the with the formatting still intact. So that's a really quick video just to show you how you can do that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please, please click the like and subscribe button. Um, let me know in the comments section if there's anything that you didn't understand or if I've gone through it too quickly. Just let me know. You can ask any questions. Um, also, let me know if there is anything else that you'd like me to make a tutorial on. And um, as, as always, I'll add it to my list. Okay, guys, have a great day. See you soon.